All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Swords. Yeah. And that yeah is because I got stuff working again. Uh, well, uh, how's everybody doing? It's 37.4 degrees in Chicago. We actually had snow this morning. How do you go from two 70 degree days to snow? I don't know. Luckily, none stuck. All right, we're back out at my website real quick. We're going to take a look at a lighthouse by George. Very cool. I like that uh, structure used for the base here. And you can also mimic this and use it for, like, uh, roofs, steeped roofs. Very nice uh, Very nice checkerboard pattern. Very cool. His, his little medieval area is coming together very nicely. And it's a new... Uh, that looks like the My Dex mod. And there's Kalama. The Kalama mod. I believe. But you can get a lot of detail by using different kinds of bricks. So that's from George. Very cool. If you want to add your picture to the website of famous pictures and be immortalized on YouTube <laughs> or, or BitChute or library... Just uh, attach a photo, a screenshot of your build, send it to this address here, and and say who you want to be credited by. Yeah. And we'll go from there. So, let us move on. Um, this is going to be a part tutorial, part update, part coolness. Yeah, I use that word. So, we are going to look at the motorbike mod. And... I know other people have covered that one, but mine's cool, because I said so. So in uh, as a version 5.1, we have this in inline content store, right from the game. And as you can see here, so I went to the content tab, I'm gonna type in motorbike. You can also go to mindtest.net in the mod section to find that. We're gonna search and look at that. There it is, adds various colored motorbikes. Motorbike by X text. I already have it installed, but you would click install, but that's not yet over yet. When you go into your game, you're going to select the game that you want, hit configure, and you're going to enable it. Now I already have it enabled in in my world, so I don't have to. But you would you'd go up here and click enable, and then save. And then start your game. But since I'm on a server and local, I'll be right back. All right, and we're out here at my uh, at my world. And I gotta, I do have to do something about the mouse. So if I turn on cinematic mode, I don't know if that makes it any any um, smoother. Maybe. All right. So. I did some uh, upgrades to the building. Look at that. We got gardens. We got a garage entrance. And I'll tell you why I did that in a moment. But first, we we're going to go down to the basement. And I, I thought I turned those doors down. The, um, what do you call it? The volume. Because I'm still inching my way towards um, the, o the perfect OBS settings. So if we go down into the garage garage depending on what part of the world that you are in look at that there is a motorbike and there's an orange motorbike so if you go into your inventory and you type motorbike or motor doesn't matter you have uh, a black one blue brown the cyan one's pretty cool looking cyan green uh, dark gray, another green, pink, magenta. You know, I don't see a red one. Believe it or not, there's no red. That is, oh, it's right there. I was going to say, that is weird. All right, so we have orange. We have that. Let's put one over here. You've seen that. You've seen this one, um, this garage. Very cool. Maybe we'll take this one. 
for a spin. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to put it down, and I want to get on it. Nice. And watch this. It leans. Very cool. I'm digging this, because I was playing with it, and it, the car mod, I like the vehicles mod. However, the vehicles mod has a little problem in that um, you can't control the car. At least on my version, you can't control the car. We'll take a look at the uh, the upgrades to the building in a minute. We're gonna we're gonna go for a little ride here. You know. Oh, where is there a fountain? Okay, we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go check out a fountain. I want to. I want to try some. It's got pretty good control. If I can get off the grass here and get back onto the road. But then again, it is a dirt bike. So can somebody say uh, motorcycle repair shop and motorcycle sales? I can. Look, I'm doing a wheelie. If you hit the space bar. Uh-oh. So let us take a look here. I, there's no brake, so I just hit the S key to slow down. Let us check out um, something really cool. <laughs> He's custom riding. Watch this. Oh, no. Go back. Wait a minute. It worked in rehearsal. Eh, okay. It'll, it'll work. Look at this. He's going to pop a wheelie. I swear. There he goes. Wheelie time. Look at that. He's riding a wheelie. And he's doing some custom, custom riding. Now, let's... Uh, <laughs> that is so that uh, yeah I'm still having a problem with um uh oh mm. something something happened I lost my bike there we go okay I'm back on my bike so let's go take care of this real quick because there's something really cool here. Um, got some got some uh, comments, and uh, just discovered uh, Nick just discovered Mind Clone Two. Cool, and it's great, uh, and they love it. Um, go back. I'm also building a model modern world in Mind Test Block Builder Pro. Very cool. We'd like to see. Um, photos and screenshots when you're done look at that you know what i'm gonna do with that right motorcycle fountain motorcycle fountain. <laughs> ah yes i am five cans short of a six pack yeah um let's try we want some baked clay and we want some fire and we need some barristers. I don't know what they're called. They're not the, they're not called that. They are called brazers. Okay. I like that. So um so uh, a couple more comments in there and I'm looking for No, we're not gonna we're not gonna do this. Um, let's see what else do we have. the The sound of the day should be a rooster. I believe that that can be changed. Uh, that that should be able to be changed if you could find the file for. Um, I think the time change. That's like a, a built in mod in there. So. Yeah, somebody wanted to ask how, somebody asked, uh, Rain Saldiva, sorry if I mispronounced your name, uh, asked how do I get the, uh, what do you call it, uh, the hot bar down at the bottom, how do I get all those characters in there, and what that is, is it's part of Dream Builder, but I believe there's also a standalone, a standalone mod 
Um, how do I want to do this? Hmm. You know, I, I should have thought this. I should have thought this out a little bit better because I'm wasting time here, aren't I? No, that should do it. Watch this. We were, <laughs> if anybody hasn't guessed by now, um, we're building a ramp. Yeah. We're going to jump. We're going to jump the fountain. Yes, we are. Why? <laughs> because, um, because it's there. That's why. So let's see if we can set some stuff on fire here. Um, why not? Let's just go. Let's just go all out here. We want uh, apple tree. I want the default one because I want it to burn. What is that? Douglas fir. Come on. This it worked in rehearsal. Yeah. So hopefully everybody's staying safe. You know, with the virus that shall not be named. We're going to do the apple tree. And, you know, go from there. I, I have no idea if this if this concoction is um, even going to work. We will see. <laughs> no. Oh, well. Okay. I, I guess. That'll... Yeah, I'd like to see other uh, mind test and, and Minecraft YouTubers do this one. Oh yeah, we're gonna sell tickets to this puppy. This is this is a pay per view event. Look at that! All right, enough with the messing around here. Let us let us go. How many people remember Super Dave Osborne? He was a it was like a, like a comic. Um, well, he was a comedian and a writer, but he uh, he also did a show called Super Dave Osborne, where he um, he would do these stunts, and they'd never work. There's always something you know something wrong. Uh, unfortunately, when you back up, you can't turn. But I tell you, I am digging this mod. Okay, come on, bike. All right, here we go, folks. There we go. We're going, we're hitting the ramp. We're hitting, no, we didn't, we didn't hit the ramp. What do I need, a, a bigger ramp? Hmm. Let's try this again. Okay, here we go. We're lining up. We're lining up. We're going, we're going, we're going. Ah. Uh. Well. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. There you go. So, it didn't quite work. But now that, it, now that it's nighttime, let's try this one more time. Just to... Just to I'm having too much fun with this. Come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. We have the ring of fire. Yay! Oh. Okay. That's enough of that noise. Ooh. I got out this time. There you have it. So that is the motor that is the motorbike mod. It is very cool. It comes in a lot of different a lot of different colors. And it um it handles very nicely. I wish the car mod also did the same thing. Uh, the vehicles mod. And I do, and that, that's another one of my favorite mods. So we are going to uh, get rid of this now that I wasted 16 minutes of your life playing Evil Knoffel and uh, <laughs> building a ramp. Somehow, in my mind, it was cool. Yeah. All right. So let's go take a look at, at my building over here. Um, uh, but then again, what else do you have to do? 
you're stuck on quarantine. You're stuck in um, indoors, playing games, watching YouTube videos. Hi, Mister. Hi, Mister. Penguin. Okay. So uh, a couple of the other ones. Um, the hot bar at the bottom of the screen. There is a hot bar. I believe a standalone mod for that. It's from uh, uh, Dream Builder, and I believe when you go into um, where would where would that be? So when you hit the forward slash and it brings that up, I believe it's a uh, hot bar eight invalid command. Hmm. Yeah, I cannot remember. I cannot remember the name of the command. But you can sit you if you if you have 5.0 you can go up to I believe 16 or higher tw uh, 24 and higher on that bar at the bottom and I still don't have enough enough storage. So real quickly what we're going to do is uh we're going to take a look at this at this basement here. I'm going to park my bike. You know, I should just go down into there. And that'll do it. Uh, a new uh, viewer from France. Look at this. We have the gate controller. It opens up. Got a little drainage here. And we have this. There are many buildings in Chicago where they have the, the first couple floors are the parking garage. And then they go up into the building. Uh, the John Hancock building, also known as the, um, I don't know. I, I can't remember what the name of the new uh, building is what the name of it is but it used to be the former john hancock but willis no willis towers is um sears tower but the um the john hancock building on the north side of the building is where their parking garage is at the street level yeah so i built a uh i built an underground parking garage because parking is a premium in in here this is nothing it's a it's a closet and this was going to be washrooms but they're not needed they're storage so uh we come down the ramp here and you have full parking and we got this kind of decorative stone structure going on here we have the we have bathrooms you know for realism and then you have this over here and this goes out to a little train platform nice and we have the train station across at the other two buildings so it's all linking up. It has its own train. So we come back over here, and I still haven't fixed the stairs. However, for, um, I don't know, American, ADA, American Disabilities, we have an elevator. So you can get up there. And I'm, I'm going to work on those stairs. But here's the elevator up here. We come in through. Nice lag. Come in through here. Here's our lobby with our... Very cool painting. And what had happened? Somebody asked about the uh, block move. Okay, watch this. I'm going to let go of this block. You see how that moves? That is a bug that's in the original Mom and Pops. Um, Michael found it. And if I disable that mod, um, it goes away. However, I cannot disable that mod because... Half of my houses, this server is over two years old. Half the houses were built using the mom and pop's furniture and kitchen stuff from the first iteration. So I actually have two mom and pop's mods installed. That's how I get the various kitchens and couches and stuff. So what I did is I put, you notice my favorite thing in the game that I laugh at. Well, that was the mod that was causing the, the crashing on 5.2.0. And it was a, it's a mod called Item Tweaks inside Home Decor or a Dream Builder, and that's where you walk up to the you know this it'll actually suck it in and then it'll give you that that uh, that noise you know that blink that I like so much. So now I have to manually pick up that. So I haven't been able to figure out how to turn that back on yet, but I'm working on it. Yes. So I just I just walled this off. I put the parking garage in here, made this area back here an office. It fits. I like it. 
You know, and the reason why I did that is because go back outside here. Here's my little gardens. I'm still not done. I'm not even sure I want these here. They look good, especially from far away. They look pretty good. You know, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be bad. There we go. Now we're in daytime. I forgot we were at night. I will fix it in post-production. So, what I wanted is I was going to put, I had it all mapped out. I was going to put the the um, underground parking over here, but I want to put a building right here. And I don't want these huge gaps in between the buildings, because if you go into any modern city, these aren't here. Nice. So, I ended up... Um, Taking one of these corners and making and making that. So I like it because I'm going to build like a McCormick type uh, building, a uh, McCormick place in Chicago. So it's a couple stories high, but it's a real long building used for exhibitions and uh, um, uh, what do they call those? Where lots of people gather and um, they show off things. Conventions. Yes. A convention center. But the thing is, is it's going to go across and that's going to pick up on the other side of the street and there's going to be a bridge that goes across between the two buildings. And we do have that in Chicago. Yes, we do. So some of the things that I saw in um, the change log for mine test uh, 5.11 to 5.2 is they were saying better GUIs, GUIs for us non for the non programmers, graphical user interfaces. So if you're a programmer, you'll say GUI, this thing, and the menu system. Um, actually, not that. I think it's just the menu system. When you go back to the main menu, I don't see a change. Um, it might be prettier. I guess there's a lot of stuff done under the hood, which is always which is always good. But the one thing that I noticed was um, the sky. Now, I have clouds turned off because they annoyed me. For whatever reason, I couldn't, when I was building this building here and the John Hancock building, I couldn't get the clouds, the, um, this, the cloud ceiling. Allegedly, you could uh, specify the cloud height, but the cloud height was going through the clouds, and it just was real freaky. So I turned, I turned clouds off. But you can notice, look at the smoothness of the sky. That was one of the things that they did. So we're going to see if this video will go into nighttime. Because the transition between daytime and nighttime and then nighttime to daytime. Look at this sky. That is pretty cool. There was I've always enjoyed, one of the things about, about this game that I've always enjoyed was... Um, that period of time, and even in real life, that period of time, the, the, I guess they call that the golden hour. It's one hour before sunrise and one hour um, after sundown, uh, right before you hit uh, last light, I guess. So if sunset is 7.30, last light would be like 8 p.m. Yeah. And uh, hi, kitty, kitty. So we're going to go out on the patio here, and hopefully we can witness. You can, you can listen to me babble, <laughs> or I could just adjust the time. That would work, too. But I can't remember. Um, I cannot remember how to do that. Let's see. Or, or what the, I can remember how to do it, but what the time was. All right, there we go. There's 4,000. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it right here. Because look at, um, we'll look at that. And this is, allegedly, this is one of the things that changed is the, um, the sky part and the simple weather. And the simple weather was varying the opacity of the clouds. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, did I leave anything out? of um, anybody out here 
John Purnell's sweet, really nice video, uh, nice and slow. I don't have to watch it five times like other YouTubers. That's because I'm out of the box. I'm like boring where other people get to the point and I just kind of linger. But thank you. <laughs> I like that. Um, nice. We already hit the block move. We had the, the uh, hot bar at the bottom of the screen. I have to look that up because I thought, oh, look at that sunrise. That's so cool. Let's see, hot bar 16. Invalid command. I don't know. Hmm. I've typed it every which way. Let's see. I didn't think there was a plus in it. I think there was a... I think there was a plus in it. No, there wasn't. I don't know what I was thinking. But... I will, um... I will find that. So there you have it. There's the sunrise. And the sunset looks just as impressive. So they changed that. Yeah. So there. All right. That is going to do it for this video because we are almost at 30 minutes. I have to figure out how to take a... Um, what I'm going to use as a screen... Nice! Look at that glitch. That was... Weird. You know, let's go down to the basement so I can get a, um, <laughs> so, I, uh, so I can get a, uh, I'm inside the Porsche. So we could, we could do a proper, yeah, look at that motorbike. So now we have a bicycles mod. We have a motorcycle mod, which is very cool. Uh, do, do I have a yellow? No, I don't have a yellow. Yeah, I do have a yellow. So I'm very, uh, I like that a lot. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, why did it do that? I'm just trying to, lay out some bikes here. Did that bike just... Nobody could see it. Oh, well. Let's go out to the street. I need a... I need a... a screenshot. Nice. I'm making everybody, um... motion sick. From throwing bikes down. And a horsey. Very nice. And we'll go from there. So, um, yeah. The horse wants to ride the bike. Yes, it does. We won't let it, though. So let us get rid of all this stuff here. Take a screenshot and call it a day. Done and dusted. Yes. You know, I'm going to leave those there. Because that's going to be the future home of... Future home of Bikes R Us. Yes. So, we, we covered the bike mod. We covered the building additions, the parking garage, uh, the elevator, everything else. It turned out really cool. Very happy with it. My world is coming along very nicely, except for the lag. Um, 5.2 appears. One thing I did notice is that it appears to be using less memory. So... That is something. So it usually usually was like 1.3 or 1.4 meg running on the server alone, um, not the uh, GUI client. Um, I believe I'm still in the 8 megs uh, to run this world locally. 
but it looks like it's running a little bit more efficient on the server. So there is that. So um, upgrade to it. However, keep the keep the previous version and make backups before playing with it. All right, that's going to do it. Thank you very much for joining. Um, hopefully everybody stays safe. Until the next video, I will leave you with... Um, I will, I will leave you with looking at a kitty. Yes. Let me down. Oh, this is embarrassing. What in the... That's a glitch. Say hi to the kitty. There we go. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye.